Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be playing Moonlight Tragica, a game by Nats Gonzalez. The first thing you should know is that this is a tragedy, Beatrice tells you. She's a magical girl in the way so many magical girls have been before. Beaten, bloodied, and on the cusp of starvation. You are fresh from your first of many magical transformations. The two of you stand on a rooftop with the incinerated remains of a witch between you. Crumbs of a cake sit in the center of the ash. You couldn't help yourself when you saw the dessert. You shoved it in your mouth. You now have seven heart points, Beatrice informs you. We are going to starve to death. So I need to decide whether I say I won't starve or do you need groceries? I think I'm going to say do you need groceries? So I have seven hit or seven heart points. Go to A3. I have groceries, you say. No, she says, shaking her head. No, I don't. I need heart points. We need heart points. Didn't your familiar tell you anything? Your familiar is dead. The cute, brandable creature was swallowed up by a witch near minutes after your transformation. You tell her this. She sighs. We're going to starve, she says, defeated. Do I agree or not agree? No, I can't agree. We're not going to starve. Go to B2. The optimism, that optimism will get you crushed all the sooner, she says. She repeats, I told you. This is a tragedy. You tell her you wanted to be a magical girl. We all did, she replies. I'll clue you in on the worst of it. You want to get a little treat? It's past midnight and a gas station slushy is the quickest treat you can summon giving, given closing times and limited monetary resources. You sip a crisp blue raspberry slushy and feel the sugar bite at your sensitive gums. You sit on the curb and ask, so how do we survive? That bitch takes you to B3? Kill witches at night, Beatrice says. Eat their desserts to collect heart points. Every day it costs one point just to keep going. One day you won't have the strength to go on. So do I say what happens to me then, or is that what happened to you? I'm going to ask, what that, if, is that what happened to you? B5. No, but it will be soon, Beatrice says. It already took my partner. Oh. C1. It'll happen to you, Beatrice tells you, if you keep me around. I can't fight on my own. Some of my heart was damaged when... It's a long story. The point is, I'll be a witch soon. You take a sip of your slushy. The straw squeaks. It'll happen to you if you don't keep me around. This is a disease. You have to fight now. You have to keep fighting until it takes you to. So do I say I, I'll keep her around or I'll keep fighting? I'm keeping her. Beatrice, I'm, I'm keeping you. You ding dong. Plus one Beatrice affection. Don't be foolish. Beatrice grows flushed. Though you cannot tell if it's an anger or a shy reddening. I can only offer you some small power. We can share the dessert left behind by each witch, but it will never be enough. We shall start faster together. That's okay. I'm... I ride or die for Beatrice. D1. That's... It's not okay. It's not, but I will help you, Beatrice says. I only ask that when I starve, you'll be there to put my witch down like the beast I am sure she will be. Can you promise me that? You promise her that. Excellent, she says. Then let us enjoy the days we have left. Beyond your little gas station shelter, the sun rises. Okay. That was the prologue. So you create your own character sheet with points totaling three cumul with points totaling three cumulatively across all skills. For an easier game, the total points can be extended to five. Fill in seven heart points on your heart meter with pencil or a new digital notes layer as shown. As you lose heart points, erase the points. Fill in five heart points for Beatrice's heart meter 
You can gift her any heart points you obtain, though, as she said, you should pri prioritize your own survival first. For every one heart point you gift Beatrice, you gain one affection point. If you gained affection with Beatrice in the prologue, mark that now. One, two, three, four, five. And one affection. Is that one little dot of affection or one? It's one node. One affection node. No, it should go to one. Maybe. Maybe that's... I don't know. I'm going to do it this way. Keeping Beatrice alive grants you special abilities. The power of friendship will allow you to re-roll any attack on a witch. Power of girlhood will allow you to add a plus two to an attack on a witch. You only have two of each special ability, however, there may be ways to replenish this power throughout the story. Flow of the game. During daytime, every sunrise except the first turn, you face the day and lose one heart point. Beatrice lo also loses one heart point. If you or Beatrice are at one heart point, turn to page 12. If you or Beatrice are out of heart points, turn to page 8. If you've reached a new level of the affection meter, the large node, with Beatrice, turn to page 9. Okay, that's helpful. You strive onward into the night. The moonlight is strong above you. At night, you go on the hunt for witches. Roll a d6 and follow the instructions in the hunt section. Hunt the witch following the instructions in the fight section. Win or flee. Blearly, you feel the sun on your face as it rises anew. Repeat the game flow until you've completed the tragedy. So, for the first day, I'm just going to continue and go on into nighttime. So I roll a d6 to determine what type of witch I will face. Got a 2, a witch of despair. Now I roll another d6 to determine the exact witch I'll face, then turn to page 6, which the pages are a little bit off, but that's okay. That is a 6. You find the remnants of a witch who burnt herself to ash. Her dessert remains. You obtain three heart points to be, to be divided as you see fit. Turn to page six. So, since the witch I came across was already ash. So, oh, I didn't do my, I didn't do my skills. What a goofball. Okay, hope, love, and justice. There were three skills. That's correct. Do I want an easier game or a regular game? One. 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 I'm going to do a normal, as suggested, game. Okay, so since this witch is already burnt to ash, I'm going to divide these desserts between me and Beatrice. I'm going to give Beatrice two, and I will take one. For every one heart point of the dessert you give to Beatrice, you gain one affection point to her. So then I will gain two affection points to her, which puts me at the number one affection node. And something happens when that happens too. Page nine. After you've completed the first node on the affection meter, stay on this page. For second or third large nodes, turn to page 10. Level 1. The mall is stark and abandoned. It's a shell of its former glory, still fresh in your childhood memories. Beatrice wanders the shut shuttered halls like a bereft ghost might haunt some Victorian mansion. She stops in front of a still-alive Claire's. Do you have your ears pierced, she asks. Do not get your ears pierced at Claire's! Okay, you shake your head. You did when you were 12. You took the studs out for a school play and the holes closed up. You tell her this. She selects a pair of clip-on earrings for small children from the rack. She holds them up to you. They're a little dainty daisies. Oh. She says, these ones remind me of you. She says, a memento for when I'm gone. You take the daisies and you blurt out, what will I do without you? Be one. She places the daisies in your hand and closes your fingers over them. You'll live just a little bit longer, she says, honest. So 
the most beautiful gift anyone's ever given you, and it sends a rock to your stomach. And in return, you'll kill my witch for me. You'll keep your promise, won't you? I'm gonna say if it comes to that, I will, I promise. She smiles a smile of relief. Now. She closes her eyes. Thank you, she says. When the time comes, you will be ready. Beatrice. Beatrice, Beatrice. And we're going to go into the next morning. Okay. That's apparently what that wants to do right now. So the blue ones are health that we're down. Me and Beatrice. Next, roll a d6 to determine what type of witch we will face. Three. A witch of loathing. Another d6. Another six? No way. You find the remnants of a witch who burnt herself to ash. Her dessert remains. You obtain two HP to be divided as you see fit. Additionally, one charge of the power of girlhood is restored. Yes! That's wonderful. Okay, so Beatrice and I are going to regain the health that we lost the previous night. And we're going to... There's a power of girlhood. Okay. Maybe not. It's awesome. Okay, I got one use of that to do. This looks so chalked, but that's okay. And we're having a very lucky time so far. Wake up the next morning, re-lose those heart points. Today's a Witch of Loathing. A... The Eldest Witch. To defeat a witch, you must overcome her defense in a single roll of the dice. We get the Eldest. A witch with a mature air. Her burdens are the cornerstones she has built all else atop. Ooh, her DC is 8. You may add a modifier of your choice from your skill stats. If the selected modifier is the witch's weakness, gain an additional plus one to the attack. Weaknesses are as follows. Despair is weak to hope. Loathing is weak to love. Violence is weak to justice. Is it 1d6? A successful attack defeats the witch. A failed attack deals minus one heart point damage to you. This does not affect Beatrice. Okay. This is a little contradictory. If the selected modifier is the witch's weakness, gain an additional plus one to the attack. Choose your attack modifier from your skill stats. If the skill is the weakness of the witch, add plus two to the attack. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with the one on the right, just because it benefits me more. So, I'm going to attack this witch with love. My love is one. Oh my gosh. I fail. So I'm going to lose a hit heart point. Minus one heart point to me. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to love her again. Three, four. I got a six. I needed an eight. That is unfortunate. If Beatrice is alive, use the power of girlhood to you add an additional plus two to the attack. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So Beatrice is going to give me the power of girlhood and make this attack succeed against the eldest witch. Thank goodness for Beatrice, right? Beatrice, you a pal. Power of girlhood expended. So when you defeat a witch, you level up the skill status associated with her by one. Loathing levels up love. So my love is awesome. You defeat the witch, cross her off the list, level up, and distribute the 2 HP. Beatrice and I are going to regain one health. I just needed that one to be blue. Okay. So we regained one health. Since I gave her one, she's going to gain one affection toward me. She's so cute. And then blearily, as we feel the sun on our face, it rises anew. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So blearily, you feel the sun on your face as it rises anew. And we will both lose one heart point as the sun rises. Beep boop bop. Minus one to my heart point. Minus one. Minus one. And then roll a d6. That's a four. A witch of loathing. Five. The cloister witch. Interesting. The cloister witch. A DC of 10. Are you kidding me? Okay. How am I supposed to get to a 10? Heck. Okay. A witch defined by her own abstinence of pleasure. Her rule is absolute. Heck. We're gonna do our best. Beatrice, be with me. Attack the cloister witch with love. That's gonna miss. I'm going to be minus one HP. That missed so bad. I rolled a one. The cloister witch is laughing in my face now. It's probably the first sense of joy she's had in a while. Uh, I'm gonna try again. Oh my god, that's a two. All right, so what? What do I even need to roll to get to a ten? Can is it possible? Okay, so two, three, four, five, six. So if I roll a six, I could get it. Okay, everything's great. Whoa, that what I meant to do? I'm looking a little rough. I am going to wait. Did Beatrice? Begin with a power of friendship charge. You only have two of each special ability. Okay. So I have one power of girlhood left and two powers of friendship. Good. I'm going to continue. Beatrice, be with me. That's a three. Please grant me the power of friendship. Reroll this die. Oh, it's a six. Yes. Okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. We did it. Beatrice, you're the best. Let's write those over there, I guess. Beatrice. We finally succeeded. I can cross off the cloister witch from the list. I am going to. Restore both of these. I'm eating both these sweets. Beatrice is fine. Although I want to increase our affection. So. Oh, and I need to increase my love by one. I got three love now. All you need is love. New day. New day. A number five. A witch of violence. Oh, heck. Another six. You find the... You find the remnants of a witch who burnt herself to ash. Okay. Her dessert remains. You obtain two heart points. Additionally, one charge of French the power of friendship is restored. Oh, and there's even a little rule for if you if you re-roll. Okay. We regain one heart point. Beatrice and I. I'm going to gain an affection for giving her and I do need to mark these. Oh, power of friendship. Power of friendship. I have two uses. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. New day. Two. A witch of despair. Four. The virgin witch. A witch of new motherhood and porcelain complexion. Her skin is peeling. There's nothing underneath. Every time I see the word underneath, I think of my grandpa saying that underneath is a redundant word and how things can be under or beneath, but underneath is redundant. I still use it, though. I actually use it more in front of him. Anyway, DC 9. Okay. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Despair is a hope skill. Okay. 
I rolled a six. That's good. That's good. Okay, so six. I'm going to use my one hope to get it to seven. Plus the two. Since the skill is the weakness of the witch. That's nine. Defeat this virgin witch. Bye-bye. So I gain one to my hope skill. And two desserts. I'm going to eat this one. And give Beatrice one. Which fills another big bubble. <laughs> That's a two. Okay, for the second or third large nose, turn to page 10. Page 10. If you have the triangle flag, B3. Else, B3. Uh, that's supposed to be C3? That would make sense. The suburban streets are eerie and white hot in the bright of day. Beatrice walks with confidence through the sun. Thank you, she says suddenly. There's nothing but cookie-cutter houses and shrub trees to block her voice. And so it carries down the cul-de-sac. What? You say dumbly. I never thanked you, she continues. I won't be able to thank you when I'm transformed. So, I want to thank you for promising to put me put down my witch when the time comes. Oh. That. You say. You shift. You stop walking and she follows your lead. You tell her not to thank you for killing her. She's still. Her hand is empty. You think about reaching for it, but fear you'll startle her. Everything is a risk with her. Every day you feel you walk on a thinner edge. You reach for your her hand or keep to yourself? I'm reaching for her hand. He won. You reach for her hand. She does not reject it but is stiff in your hold. It's as if she's unsure what to do with the affection you lay bare before her. You move to pull away, but she stops you. She grips your hand tightly now. She says, wait. You walk home together, hand in hand. Beatrice. Beatrice! I think that's definitely a good gist of the game here. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who would want to play it. But I really like this game. I'm definitely going to finish it. If you would be interested in seeing the ending of my playthrough, let me know and I can make that happen. Otherwise, I hope you have a beautiful day. Don't forget to be nice to people. And I'll see you later.